Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at NG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are discussing about chapter number two, that is Total Quality Management, in which we discussed about a seven new quality improvement tool. Out of that seven tools, we already discussed about three tools. The rest four tools will be discussed in today's lecture. So our next tool to improvise the quality is a matrix diagram. As the name suggests, it is a formation of matrix in which the data will be analyzed with respect to two different quantities. The two quantities can be written over here and here. If it is forming L shape, then it is called as a L configuration. If two quantities are written in this way, first one over here, second one over here, then it is the T shape. One quantity is represented over this part and another over this part. Then it is forming X shape. And lastly, if Y pattern has been found between two quantities, then it is called as a Y shape configuration. Okay. Now let us have a one example so that you get the better idea. Let us take the example of Maruti Suzuki, who is having a number of dealers. Let us say they are having a dealer in Gandhinagar in Ahmedabad itself at three five locations. They are having dealers. We are giving just number to them. Dealer one, two, three, four, five. Right. So customer is having this many choices and what are the criteria the customer want whenever they need to select a car, they need to have a availability of car models, service department must be there, a proper delivery may be expected, car accessories from the dealer is expected and the loan processing department, right. So what we are going to do is in this case, we are just symbolizing the each and every criteria, okay. Just a symbol, any symbol you can develop. If we are developing this two circle pattern, then it is having a strong relationship and we are giving value to it. Means let us giving, uh, give rate as 9 out of 10. Okay. If we are forming a means medium relationship is then only circle will be represented and we are giving value as 3. If it is forming triangle, then the value is 1. We indicate that it is having a weak relationship. Now, you may have uh, uh, this uh, thought in your mind that why does not we give values directly over here, means 9, 3, 1. Why we need to have this symbolic representation? Let's say dealer number 1, if the car models are not available on time, we can give the weak relationship. So, need to represent with the help of triangle. But why need to give triangle over here instead of using 1, right? The reason is that from the symbolical representation itself you can directly take the judgment. See if more triangle is present in dealer number 1, directly you can have a thought that triangles appear a lot means it is having a weak relationship. So all of the criteria which customer want will most of the criteria are not satisfied right. So in that way you can take the decisions very instantly okay. At the other end if in any of the dealer if you find this two circle pattern then what will the thought will come in your mind that most of the criteria are being satisfied by the particular dealer so you need to opt that dealer right so that decision to whether to choose this dealer or another dealer can be met very easily with the help of this kind of representation that's why we are giving this particular relationship values okay so and this is very useful to check about the quality aspect also. The another tool is a matrix data analysis. This is somewhat different to above one in which we discussed about only matrix. But whenever this word matrix data analysis comes into picture, we are talking about a quadrant. We form a quadrant kind of diagram and two values will be evaluated. Once it will be tabulated and then it will be represented on the graph, right? So whenever there is some complex problem we can take the corrective decision easily let us uh, take the example so you get the better idea suppose if company is there who is manufacturing six different different products okay we are naming it as item 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this characteristics is actually the desired thing which customer want okay we are giving score to each and every item let us take one example if item number one is there we are giving a score and characteristic 
a as 10 and in characteristic b as 8 this characteristic is nothing but some requirement of the customer okay so for each and every item we are giving some numerical value then what we are going to do is we will represent that value on x and y axis but both positive and negative values will be represented in the case of item 1 we are having this a and b both characteristics positive that's why this will be lying in a quadrant 1 okay so item number 4 in which y value is positive uh, negatives that's why it will be lying over here y or characteristic b is negative that's why it is lying over here so these are the values which are negative is not desired by the customer the most desired part will be the quantities which is lying in a quadrant one because both the characteristics are positive right so in this way you can take the easy judgment right which one is good which one is better so from the representation visual representation we can get the idea that item one and six is proper the another one is pdpc that is process the decision program chart this is very similar to the tree diagram or fault tree analysis but the additional part in this process decision program chart is at the end of the chart we are writing both the possibilities that which one need to be selected and which one need to be rejected both will be discussed okay so it helps to select the best process to get the desired result and it not only evaluates the existing process but also evaluate the alternatives through the gained knowledge let us take the example suppose if you need to go for guest lecture right you need to give some guest lecture so what are the different steps behind that the car should reach the venue on time you need to use your laptop and you need to have use of video projector also but what can go wrong in the case of reaching the venue right car may break down which you are using so you are having a two option that whether to hire a car or to take a public transport right by taking a public transport decision you may not reach on time so that is a rejected and hire car has been considered as an optimum condition use of laptop file may not found so you need to have a backup of using a cd also maybe may a pen drive even a laptop fails to operate so you need to ask organizer to have some other pc or you need to have a backup pen drive to use on their particular device okay use of video projector projector field so all the different possibilities if you write then your lecture will be perfectly done okay last seven uh, seventh quality improvement tool is arrow diagram right in this particular diagram we need to write start means at what time you are going to start your assigned work and at what day you want to finish your task will be represented over here right in between this which roadmap you need to follow that will be written right in order to reach to end part you are having these two possibilities means you can do your task by doing activity or event f and g in between or you know, if you are doing only event g then also you can reach to the end part these are the two different possibilities which one is good that is required to be calculated with the help of mathematical models like cpm and pert right from this visualization you may have a thought in your mind that by doing event g in between is good right but that may not be good even because if activity a is taking more time compared to activity b and c together then it is of no use right so it is it may possible that if you are doing event f and g in between that will be more advantageous right so ma that mathematical calculation is required right now let us summarize the entire chapter with the concept of TQM implementation and limitation that is the last topic of chapter 2 so in order to implement total quality management in any of the industry we need commitment from the employee each and every employee must be involved we want quality improvement culture in throughout the organization 
we need to go for continuous improvement that is kaizen we need to have a cooperation of all the employees of the industry we need to focus on the customer and lastly effective control of all the activities is required if we do this thing in any of the organization we can achieve total quality management up till now we had discussed about usefulness of the total quality management but it lies with certain limitation also the first limitation is the introduction cost right whenever we want to have quality management in our industry the initial cost requirement is higher then the benefits may not be seen for several years right it may happen that whenever you implement this particular philosophies in industry immediate result you cannot see this results can be seen after a certain longer time duration right or it may take certain years also and workers may even show some resistance to change right because they are just got um, acquainted with the same working pattern right whenever they want to change the change is not easily accepted right so they show some resistance to change their process right so these are the some limitations but one more limitation i discuss is if some pro- company is changing their product every now and then right in such industry also if you are going to implement tqm so that may not be useful even because the result of tqm is shown after certain years right uh, in some of the cases so that may not be uh, prove advantages in companies who are changing their product every now and then that's all for the today's class finally thanks for watching